Coming up on Mountain News this morning, we are getting a better look at the devastation left behind by the tornadoes in Alabama just hours before President Trump's visit. And cleanup continues in Martin County this morning, more than a one week after flooding hit there. The officials are we're still working with a Western Kentucky community to help save a church from a massive landslide. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Connor James. Today is Friday, March 8th. It's just about 5 o'clock. Let's check in with Brandon Robinson for a look at your forecast this morning. Brandon? Well, it's snowing, my friend, and it's going to continue to snow for a little while for a lot of folks. Down south, a little warmer. Maybe some wintry mix or some rain. Let's take a look on live pinpoint Doppler radar. And you can see pink, blue, and green all showing up, but a lot of blue up to the north where those temperatures are colder and some slippery roads as well. As we head out the door, winter weather advisory expanded overnight. Goes through noon now for most of the area all the way down to uh, basically the border counties there with Kentucky, Virginia, and Tennessee. But again, a lot of areas seeing snow, including Moorhead along the I-64 Mountain Parkway corridor up that way. Look at that. Snow covering up the camera there and on the sides of the roads. US-119 on top of Whitesburg Pine Mountain. You go over that way. Not a whole lot at first, but then you see it starting to kind of cover up there just a little bit. And outside the WIMT studios, a coating here on the grass as well. So we're going to continue to see those cold temperatures. We see those there a little cooler up to the north a little warmer down to the south eventually this will all transition over to a cold rain you can see on the app cast there into the afternoon we'll climb into the 40s the rest of that forecast on the way here in just a few minutes connor just waiting for spring thanks brandon well we're getting a clearer picture of the scope of the damage from tornadoes that killed 23 people sunday in alabama this photo was taken from the air by an Auburn University flight instructor. It shows a trail of devastation cutting across the landscape. The path of destruction seems to stretch on endlessly to the horizon. The twisters caused widespread damage and scattered debris for miles. The destruction was so widespread that authorities are still measuring the severity. President Trump is set to tour devastated areas later today. John Lawrence has more. Alabama residents picking up the pieces and moving forward. You're not going to let this get us down. Uh, no matter how bad, no matter how tragic, uh, we, are, we are resilient. We will rebound. We will be, rebuild. The National Weather Service confirmed Thursday that 12 tornadoes struck Alabama on Sunday, flattening trees and reducing structures to rubble. Walking through the debris, seeing the photographs, seeing the shoes, seeing, you know, the the small items that are people are trying to recover. The devastation is just absolutely will take your breath away. State and local officials say a lot of progress has been made over the past few days. We're so glad that the federal government is here partnering with the state to allow a local execution of a disaster response and recovery and now into long term recovery activities to get Lee County to a better tomorrow. But more trouble may be lurking on the horizon. Forecasters say more severe weather could be coming this weekend, including to central Alabama. Our area is just a rural, loving community. And I'm just counting on that faith that it'll keep us strong, we'll hold together, and we'll make it through. I'm John Lawrence reporting. A Facebook group called Lost Treasures and Photographs for Beer Guard Tornado Victims is set up and is being used to help residents get reunited with items that were lost during the storms. And cleanup continues in Martin County after the devastating flooding of nearly a week and a half ago. Volunteers say there were several homes heavily damaged in the Tomahawk area of the county. One home had nearly five feet of water in the basement. Volunteers with the Christian Appalachian Project spent the last couple days cleaning the area. I came here Saturday to do assessments and they were just debris, there was still water, and so we're just here to, to help them um, get back get, you know, in order and get their lives back in order. To learn more about the Christian Appalachian Project, head on over to our website, WYMT.com. And here in Perry County, Buckhorn Lake is now at about 818 feet. Here is video of, the la of last week. The Army Corps of Engineers in Louisville say the lake is falling. The gates are still set at maximum capacity. Winter pool is 757 feet. The lake level fell just short of breaking the all-time record. 
The dangerous landslide in western Kentucky is still causing problems for people in the area. The ground gave way last month after all the rain. A church and another building were left on the edge. Engineers met with church leaders to figure out what they can do to keep the building from sliding. Whatever we can do as a city or the county or, or, or the state, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get through this. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just a slow process. Engineers are trying to figure out how much it could cost to fix the slide. They are hoping rain in the forecast doesn't make it any worse. And the Louisville Zoo and Mega Cavern are closed again today. Crews are watching to see if a massive sinkhole gets any bigger. The sinkhole opened up earlier this week in an underdeveloped part of the zoo. It's about 50 feet deep and nearly the size of a football field. Officials are also looking into whether a Tennessee earthquake, which shut down the Louisville Mega Tavern on Tuesday, had anything to do with the sinkhole as well. Well, thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. Coming up, history in the making for the space program. We will tell you about a very special spacewalk coming up later this month. The snow is still coming down in most areas, leading to some slick roads as you're heading out the door this morning, especially in those northern counties. I have the full forecast in about three minutes. <laughs> 